microphone actually works, that's always a good start to a stream. So again, hello and welcome to Mapper Monday. It's been a while since I've done one of these and I'm being slightly more formal than usual in the introduction to this because I'm likely to highlight it off. The reason for this is that today I'm going to be looking at Campaign Cartographer 3 Plus. So what is CC3 Plus? It's the new upgraded version of Campaign Cartographer from Pro Fantasy Software. It's available as an upgrade to Campaign Cartographer 3, but is actually a completely separate program. It's been rebuilt from the ground up, essentially, with better rendering engine, um, new tools, stuff that's supposed to just make it a lot easier to use and a lot better. So what's new? If you already have CC3, and to get CC3 Plus at the moment you need to, what do you get that's new? Well, for starters, the most important thing, even though they hide it a little way down the list, is it's got a new data directory. Previously everything was stored in the installation directory, which is okay, but it causes a few potential problems. Now they're using the program data directory on C. So everything now is in program data. This does mean that, for example, you can back up your program data directory and then bung it back in after, or back up the Pro Fantasy version part of your program data directory and then bung it back in afterwards and restore any changes that you've made. So that's quite useful. It's much simpler for finding stuff that way. The downside to this is that all of the previous um, add-ons and expansions will install to the wrong place and not work with CC3+. They've done most of them now. Uh, City Designer, Dungeon Designer, all the symbol sets, they've all been upgraded so that they will install to CC3+, and that's very useful because I own them all. Campaign Cartographer Cosmographer has not yet been upgraded, so I don't have that on CC3 at the moment, CC3 Plus at the moment. And the new Perspectives 3, the new version of the Perspectives, previously Perspectives Pro um, add-on that lets you draw 3D isometric uh, maps, that is exclusively for 3 Plus, which is the main reason I've now made the jump and gone to this software. What else is new in this software? We have got drawing tools appearing in the symbol catalog window. Now that's quite useful in that previously if you had say, well the example they give is quite good, uh, if you click the vegetation button so you're seeing trees, bushes and so forth, but there is actually a forest drawing tool that will now appear with those trees and bushes so when you click vegetation you've got all your vegetation options. In a lot of st styles this isn't going to make any difference but in those places where it does it's going to be really useful. They've updated the print wizard, giving you better options for things like multi-page printings, overlapping sheets, uh, drawing distance, stuff like that. So all that should be quite good, although I haven't looked at it yet. They've also included a couple of new styles. There's a new bitmap style from Mike Schley, who is responsible for the cartography for Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. So that means that with CC3+, Plus, you can straight away start drawing overland maps that look like D&D 5, which if you're playing D&D 5 and you're into the look of D&D 5 is going to be a good thing for you. Um, the latest upgrade they've also added a new mapping st another mapping style that was in one of the annuals and has been updated to, to fit with this. Interestingly but probably a little bit Marmite in that some people are going to love it and some people are going to hate it they've given it a floating prompt now. It's always had a command line prompt down at the bottom where for certain tools you need to enter things or you can just enter any tool, activate any tool by typing in its command. In addition to appearing at the bottom of the screen that is now echoed at the, um, the mouse pointer. So now you don't have to necessarily go hunting for it and if it's giving you a prompt for something you're more likely to see it and not forget to put, some, put that in. So that again, it's a little touch but it's quite a good one. They've changed the tool well icons. Uh, they've brought in larger toolbar icons, though you can shrink them again by changing the settings. I quite like the old look of the toolbar icons, to be honest. Um, these new ones do look a little bit more modern, a bit more Windows 10. If you don't like the look of Windows 10, that's not going to be a good thing for you. Um, I actually do like the look of Windows 10, but I still prefer the old symbols on Campaign Cartographer. But nevertheless, that's secondary, because they, of course, don't appear on the maps that you produce. They're just when you're making them, so your output is still going to be every bit as good. The biggest change is very much in the rendering engine while you're drawing. So this here 
is a portion of my Port Sontras map, which I'm using for the Axe play test that I'm running. I won't say alternate weekends because actually other things keep coming in on those um, weeks, but I'm running it on some Sundays when we're not playing D&D. Now, with the effects on, this used to take quite a long time to, to redraw, and in fact, sometimes it would hang up, and the only way I could get it to redraw was to open a notepad window in front of it, so it was drawing in the background, not actually on screen. The effects are currently turned on. Let's zoom out to the maximum and see how long it takes to redraw it. Done. That is really, really impressive. The difference is phenomenal. Now this is slightly faster again because I've upgraded my computer, but I did check this software before I upgraded and there was a significant improvement in redraw time. Very significant, even before I upgraded. I mean, now it's fantastic. Uh, it was just great before I did the upgrade on my, on my computer. So this would have been sitting here, you know, going and making a cup of tea while I waited for it to redraw. You can. Uh, if you've seen any of my previous streams, you'll, you'll have seen the way that works. So that is really impressive. The biggest changes to this have definitely taken place underneath the hood, where we can't see them, but we do see their effects, and they are astonishing. Well done, Pro Fantasy Software.